As was revealed and then shared back in July of 2016 in a video I made, Trump will never remove the 501c3 contract. He will only rewrite it, even though many preachers and pastors hoped and declared otherwise. Prophecy must be fulfilled, and to remove that government contract now will prevent it from fulfillment. What he will do is change how that contract is written so as to allow the preachers to keep their tax-free status while at the same time have the legal ability to preach political sermons. The truth as it was revealed in prophetic scripture is fact, and no matter how many false pastors and wolves proclaim otherwise, it's going to happen. The prophecy clearly states the ecumenical churches in bed with Rome will have the ability to legislate and pass religious law against anyone refusing to worship the man of sin in Rome to the point they will lose the ability to buy and sell and then eventually pass laws to have them killed if they refuse to keep his man-made Sabbath of Sunday holy over and above the Sabbath of the Creator God. Revelation 13.15 literally says, And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And just so you know, the speak and cause reference in the prophecy here is defined as legislation and then enforcement. See my Symbols of Revelation defined page on the website when you get time. So again, many scoffed and insisted for years that the 501c3 was not an image of the beast as students of prophecy were proclaiming even though the only way to get the 501c3 contract was to join your church with the state so as to make an exact copy of the beast in rome which is both vatican city which is a state as well as the roman catholic church but they yelled they screamed they ridiculed and even stomped their feet proclaiming students of prophecy were lying when they said the 501c3 would eventually find the money worshiping preachers become viable agents of the state and then as was revealed and then posted in that video i made in 2004 which was a summary of my image of the beast page on my website i made years prior regarding how all this will go down as scripture predicts is in fact happening just as the lord reveals in his written word now yes some may assume the image was never given life as of yet but I beg to differ, as it was obviously given its life in 2006 when Bush signed that law making all the pastors government agents with the ability to lobby religious law. But because of rampant disobedience across the board in all the churches, nary a preacher caught that because the only way to understand Bible prophecy is to be obedient to the God that wrote it. And even after Trump said what he said during his campaign nine months ago that moved me to make that video back in July of 2016, the truth as it was written in the prophetic word of God was ignored for the most part by all those pastors. They actually had the ability to lobby law since 2006 as President Bush's signature confirmed, but their fear of losing the golden tax-exempt carrot blinded their eyes and their fear of losing the money they worship forced them to sit on their hands. But no longer. Trump signed that executive order. And now they have the government they trust over and above the God they supposedly preach for protecting them now on that pulpit. And so now, when a loud cry that declares they all sold out and are now working hand in hand with the dying God of this world who has been running things from the Vatican for centuries, who declares the Ten Commandments abolished at the cross, the truth we preach about the law of God will empty their pews because some of their flock will open their Bibles as did the Bereans of old. And so those hirelings standing at the pulpit will have to fabricate a need to pass a law demanding all people attend church on Sunday so as to stop the prophesied increased calamities. Of course, that will only be the excuse they use when in fact as prophecy dictates is their way of combating the truth about the Sabbath of the Creator God that is causing their pews to empty in the first place. They can't just go out and say they want a law passed to shut up the Sabbath keepers. They gotta fabricate a law that says you have to go to church on Sunday so as to appease God so he'll stop the calamities. That's just going to be their excuse. Their people actually opened the Bibles and found students of prophecy were telling them the truth. That's why they left their churches. The real truth is they passed that law because the money that is in the pockets of those that are leaving their church is far greater than their love of the Lord or even the people they were ordained a shepherd. That law will cause many to run back into their churches for fear of losing their lives too. And so, as prophecy also predicted, the main issue in the last days that divides the disobedient from the obedient, or as prophecy puts it, will point out who gets the mark of the beast and who gets the seal of the living God will come to fulfillment with an exactness only a creator God can declare. We are that close now. They literally have the ability to enforce the mark of the beast. And if you are a Christian who is riding the fence on this long prophesied fact, 
You need to get off that fence and obey the Lord you claim to worship that wrote that law with his own finger in stone, no less so as to declare it eternally unchangeable. For if you refuse to accept Jesus as Lord and stop offering him lip service, as prophecy proclaims most will do today, you will be those Christians that the prophet Jeremiah declared will shout on that great and dreadful day that the harvest is past, the summer is ended, and we are not saved. So I pray you make the right decision and join the people of God who declare on that great and dreadful day, Lo, this is our God. We have waited for him, and he will save us. This is the Lord. We have waited for him. We will be glad and rejoice in his salvation. Thank you for watching. God bless.